thank the organizer to provide me the opportunity to have the interaction with you people. Let me share my screen. Our screen is visible. Hope. I hope so that screen is visible to everyone. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so first of all, uh, this is the gathering of the engineering college, and uh, you might be wondering that why the people from the bioscience are coming for lecture, right? But in today's world, now we are working towards the multidisciplinary approach. So it is better that if you are working with the other faculty members, you will get some new opportunities and other things. So that way, I think our interaction would be. Having the two way benefit, even I'll be also getting something from you, and you'll be also getting something from me. So today's entire topic is basically divided in the three parts. In the first part, we'll be just taking the basic concept for the funding opportunity research grant. That why the grants are generally getting rejected. So of course, some of the other lectures might be there, but just to give a shape, I'll be starting with that. Then secondly, we'll be taking the few example of the state level funding agency. Few example of the international funding agency, and even we'll take few example of the national level funding agency, and uh, then at last, depending upon our discussion, we'll just have one case study discussion that how you can build up the better research grant pro, uh, opportunity, and how you can just generate the better report for that. Right. So we are just starting with the very first part. That why the research is now becoming a difficult task because uh, suppose you compare that research budget is now getting shrinking everywhere. Before ten years it was very easy to get the research grant, but now it is very difficult. Everywhere there would be quite competition. Researchers being forced to seek the external funding. Even you might have uh, had that uh, news also that CSIR earlier that was giving very huge funding to other, but now even CSIR scientists they are also suggested that you are supposed to take the funding from the outside and you have to become self-sustaining. So that way it becomes quite important to finding the. Perfect research funding agency for us. Writing a good research proposal is not easy. You have to align yourself with the funding agency objective. So again, now the scenario is getting changed. Before ten or fifteen years, according to the researcher expertise or according to the research expert, normally the funding opportunity were having the wide broad subject. You can develop your own uh, criteria, and depending upon your own criteria, you can get the grant. But now slowly, all the funding agencies they are coming with the very focus objective, and they are also coming with the bucket of basket. So as a researcher, you have to select the project which is available with them in most of the cases. And if it is not there, then again they are giving their main objective, and you have to align your research or you have to align your research area to the basic area of the funding agency. Then again, finding agency is very tricky. Suppose you are finding the funding agency which is working in an area in which you are working, then it seems it is very easy. But at the same time, it is quite competitive also because when the funding agency is having a wide experience in that same area, your initial funding agency on the basic research will not be cut. So you have to develop the advanced proposal for that. And again, technically, you should know that what is the basic process of evaluating the research proposal. What are the decision maker which are involved in that? And depending upon that only, you can also develop the research proposal. So these are the few basic points about the research funding criteria. Now, secondly, suppose we are going further. Then grants are the sum of the money awarded to the financial particular activity, and they are not able to pay it back. So normally, all the grants are given in such a way that at the end of the project. You are supposed to keep the grant money with you. You have to keep the instrument, everything with you, but you have to just give the report back. Now, whatever the report we are giving back, that is basically a property of the funding agency. So, when you are just starting with the initial funding projects or initial two, three funding projects, your basic performance would be evaluated depending upon your funding research report. So after that, suppose you are just having the one project in the DST, you are submitting your project, then that will get evaluated. And again, next time when you are applying for that, even 
the assessor will be assess that what was the output of your earlier report so normally people are giving much emphasis when they are producing the research proposal but when they are completing the project and when they are submitting the reports they are not taking much care so that way the footprint of the research project is also quite important so that way to create a good report always you have to complete the project in a nice manner and even you have to produce the good project report so it is important to understand the goal of the funding bodies and their grant program so normally as uh, niti ayog is there we are having the swachh bharat mission we are having the swasth bharat mission so right that nation is always changing its priority and according to the priority change all the funding agencies are also getting converted so even though you are working in any other area but by any mean you have to just align your research goal in such a way that it will be shown that you are working in the interest of the nation or in the interest of the state so that way you have to also be quite smart when you are just writing the subject or when you are writing the executive proposal so decisions are made on the application applicant ability to fit the proposed research activity in the interest of the funding body so that already we have uh, discussed that it should be in the area of the funding body so there are the few basic thing for that now uh, i think on the research proposal you are having the so many lectures that already i have seen in the research program so we will be just discussing that normally what are the reason that why the funding proposals are getting rejected so first of all suppose you see that there is no relationship or there is no good introduction so suppose you are going for any research proposal first of all you have to sell yourself same way whatever the research you are working the expert might be already having the lot of background about that so due to that he will not have any interest on the contrary the research proposal who is evaluating he is not at all having any background so that way he will not get even interest in your topic so the first part is that you have to build up the relationship and rapport with the assessor and you have to develop the proposal in such a way that assessor would be getting more interest in that so when we'll be having the case study we'll just take the case study of that that how to build a interest that even layman will get interested in your project then mission or program fit it's evident so normally whatever the mission program of the funding agency is there that should be aligned when you are giving the justification you have to write that my proposal is meeting with this kind of the objective of the funding agency or it is matching with this mission of the funding agency so that way whenever you are writing the uh, introduction or other part always try to develop the some kind of the alignment with the research bodies and your goal are not as the goal of the research funding agency so whatever the goal research fundings are giving if it is not reflected even though it is there but it is not directly reflected then it will not come then sometime the research funding would be depending upon the time duration suppose you are claiming that you will be working for the 3 years and the grant is available for the 2 years only then that would be got not, not getting match and on the contrary suppose your project is quite long but if the funding agency is giving only 2 years so just to get the fund if you are reducing the cycle then that will also create the pain problem because the assessor will know that in 2 years you are not able to complete that so you have to show that how you will be managing the other part the program objectives are not measurable so normally in all the research proposal the objectives you are writing depending upon the methodology but uh, when you are developing the objective the objective should be always smart objectives or the goal should be always the smart goal smart is basically a small or you can just tell the smart measurable reliable and attainable so whatever the objective you have written for the first 6 month after 6 month you should be able to develop the entire measurement for that so that kind of the alignment should be present in your objective design then budget bubbles so normally the budget is the area in which normally all the research proposals are having a lot of problems each funding agencies would have the different kind of the budget requirement depending upon the budget requirement you have to give the justification secondly they are also giving some kind of the proportion that for example overhead should not be get increase of more than 10% of some recurring grant non recurring grant similarly for the contingency so like that you have to be quite careful that whatever the rules are created that should not be overlook in your budget preparation secondly when you are developing the budget it should not look like that that from the one project only you want to develop everything in your life 
So you have to show that your institute is having the good amount of the facility. You are ready to invest something from your side also, and only the things which are quite important that only you are claiming in the budget. And again, the budget should be prepared in the Excel only because many a times different kind of the mathematical equations and other you are supposed to put in the percentage and other. And if it is not getting matched, that would be creating the problem. Not following the guideline, that is the very common kind of the mistake. That whatever the annexers or whatever the requirement for the project preparation is there, that should be thoroughly followed. The proposal is too vague. Many times, when we are not having enough time, we are just writing the proposal vaguely, and that looks very bad impression to that. Proposal would be too narrow or too broad also. That will also create the problem. Sometimes we are feeling that uh, if the uh, proper page is not given for the entire proposal built up normally they are writing that you are supposed to complete the proposal only in the four pages and you will find that you are not having the enough space to write everything so in that case your proposal will become quite narrow or if you are elaborating it too much then also it will create the problems the research issue is not of much important so many times it happens that you will have the some kind of the affection to your research project and according to that only you will be quite excited to develop the project on that but that project is of not important of the nation or it is not important for the funding agency so in that case also that is getting rejected so the best way for that is that you have to see the project which is already passed by the funding agency so always normally in the funding agency website you can get the list of the project which is already funded by the funding agency for last 3 4 5 years depending upon that only you can just screen out that what kind of the funding projects they are interested and what kind of the funding agencies are giving the approval secondly in some of the cases you can also find out that the expert lists are also given so you can also check the biodata of the expert and depending upon the expert biodata also you can just fabricate that which kind of the things are coming not having the potential impact of the pro proposed research on the research field or in the society so normally we are also talking about the corporate social responsibility and research is now on, not only done for the academic purpose but that should be also done for the society that should be done for the economy that should be also done for the environment so whatever your small project is there in the discussion you have to show in such a way that your project is having the impact on all the multi dimension area of the society so that way the same project should be projected in a multi dimensional way goals are not unreasonable uh, goals are just too unreasonable impractical or the unrealistic suppose you are just writing the project and we are becoming quite ambitious and we are just writing that for example in biology so many people are working on the cancer and in the introduction only they will write that by this project will be able to create the treatment for the cancer so that is totally unrealistic so many people in the world from the so many years they are trying so you are not supposed to use such kind of the language or such kind of the object that is very difficult to achieve so that should be properly taken your organization either isn't ready or doesn't are ready for the grant funding so normally the good funding agency also see the status of the organization where the project is going on so you can have the two areas in that that normally whatever the overhead charges are there if your institution is ready to waive the overhead charges then that will reduce the cost and at the same time funding agency will also feel that whatever the organizations are there they are also ready to contribute from their side so that gives a very good impression secondly when you are writing about the instruments or the facility available in your institute always write all the instruments which are possible with you and even you can write down that what kind of the other facilities or other projects are already running in your organization so that way you have to build the repo of your organization also right the organization doesn't have the sufficient track record to prove that it is creditable for the grant proposal and then due to that also it will also get rejected so suppose your organization is quite new and there is no much history then always it is better that you should have some good collaborator or some good kind of the organization along with that try to carry out the mou with that and with this your institution even though it is new it can be just established that you are having a good connection in the society and due to the network you will be able to survive you fail to prove the recipient possess the necessary skill experience knowledge to accomplish their objective so normally suppose i am working on the bioinformatics and i am writing that i want to develop the entire new program for some metagenomics analysis but from my biodata only it is evident that i am not having any kind of the computational skill or i am not having any kind of the programming knowledge so even though my project is good 
but the SSR will feel that I am not able to complete the entire project. So I have to just develop my capability in such a way, or I have to develop the network for that. Again, the proposal does not present a clear evaluation plan. So whatever your proposal is there, that should be also measurable. And how it can be evaluated in the outcome form, that should be also properly mentioned. So that is a way by which we are just having the some kind of things. Along with that, the proposal is not perceiving or it is lacking the citation. So that is also a very common mistake. We are developing the entire proposal, but we are not giving the citation. If you are giving the citation, that gives the indication that you have done the thorough research and the things which you are claiming that is already available in the literature. So if it is needed, they can also verify for that purpose. So these are the few basic things that uh, we have to take care. Now, again, after doing all these things, it may happen that your proposal is getting rejected also for so many times. So whenever it is getting rejected, the first thing is that you should not be get disappointed. What you are supposed to do with the rejected proposal is you have to take it as a learner experience. First of all, read the reviewer comment carefully. They may have pointed out some of the problem in your proposal that you have not foreseen earlier, right? So that way, if the funding agency is giving you the comment, it is good. If they are not giving the comment, at least try to communicate with them if possible. And again, see the list of the project which is already passed. So at least you can get the idea that why your proposal is getting rejected and why others are getting the funding. Check the grant committee if the resubmission of the proposal is possible. Many times it happens that they are also asking you to revise the proposal. So you can also have the very humble email with the funding agency and you can ask that what are the area in which I can go for the approval and with that way even you can resubmit for the other part. If resubmission is not possible, you can find out some other agency that is better suited for your proposal. So whatever time you have invested in the proposal, even though it is not working good at one funding agency, it is not like that that should be completely thrown away from the market. You can just find out some other funding agency, slightly modify the basic proposal, and again, you can get the chance of getting the firm. So ultimately, treat the grant application process as a learning experience so even rejection is also one kind of the step towards the developing the good proposal for your future then when the proposals are getting rejected you will just be quite disappointed but don't get disappointed you are not alone who is getting rejected normally the competition is quite high and grant funding is limited so out of so many proposal only few proposals are getting funded so don't be depressed with that give yourself time after getting the one Rejection immediately don't go for the second uh, second proposal. Just have a few break in between Share your feedback with your friends ask them that how they have just developed the proposal At least get the feedback with the others and look for the way by which you can go for the improvement And after getting the feedback and other things again prepare and again go for the re-upgrade So that is the cycle that you are supposed to follow for always getting the funding from the different agencies so now we'll be just taking few of the funding agencies. So initially we are just starting with the state funding agency. So many of the funding agency would be quite known to you. So I'll be just taking the name and only few important aspects of that. More time will be just spending on the last part that how to develop the funding proposal. We'll just have the discussion or we'll have the case study for that, right? So basically in the Gujarat, we are having the Gujarat Council on Science and Technology. So everybody is knowing about that. And Many of you might have also gone for the proposal submission in that also. So this is also giving the minor and major funding. And that is having the different kind of the scheme. There is one scheme under the science and technology and also the scheme for the innovation fund. So in that also you can get that. Now even as a funding agency, now it is there that not only universities are allowed, but startup, SME, entrepreneurship, even public sector organizations are also allowed with you. So in such kind of the funding agency, it is better that you can just get some of the startup with you because right now even government is also ready to funding the startup and entrepreneur also. So you have to just take such kind of the partners with you and you can just go for that. So this is the normal selection process that would be also getting changed according to the different funding agency. But normally that is remain saying only you are supposed to give the proposal and after that there will be technical advisor committee and the technical advisor committee that will be just thoroughly examining your proposal and that give you the selection and other. So these are the schemes in which you can just get the funding from the good coast. So this 
Oh, areas are quite broad, but in this area, you can develop your proposal. It is working on the artificial intelligence in even robotics. For the biotechnology, they are just having the separate Gujarat State Biotech Mission. But it is not like that. That is funding only the biological component. Right now, I'm having the project from the Gujarat State Biotech Mission, in which we are having the solid waste management, and we are having again two engineering college along with that. So we are just producing the brick from the west and for that also we require the engineers so always try to get some kind of the collaboration with the other and normally you can find out that the funding agency opportunity is quite higher in the biological field and in so many biological fields the addition of the engineering field is required so you can also build up the proposal with them polymer and special material is there nanotechnology iot the iot is currently blooming you can just find out lot of proposal in this energy storage solution waste treatment that already i discussed with you pollution amendment and sustainable habits and nutritional sensitive research so these are the area in which currently which coast is giving you the funding mm -hmm. same way as i told earlier that uh, gujarat state biotech mission is there this gujarat state biotech mission that is also having the research support scheme and in this research support scheme they are also having the four major area so for example this is the area of the plant biotechnology so in this also you can see that some of the area in which you can also have the help of the any biologist with you and you can just go for the development of the entire part because whatever the kit development and other kits are there in that normally the chemical engineers or even some kind of the electronic devices are also included same way in the animal biotechnology also is there healthcare biotechnology lot of kits and other things are there and even lot of software development is also promoted in this area the environmental biotechnology in this also the sewage treatment medical waste treatment solid waste management so these are the area where even the role of the engineer along with the biologist is also there and typically right now government is giving the much emphasis on the environmental biotechnology so that is also the area in which you can just have the role basically as an engineer to be played now besides that you as normally for the traditional universities we are having the ugc for the engineering you are having the aict so aict i think everybody is known for that so i'll be not taking the much details for that but at least we'll just glimpse the entire part of that so there would be specific scheme for the faculty development and general guideline and other things are available over there you can just have the different kind of the faculty development scheme so like that so many advertisements are regularly coming in the rolling basis so depending upon the suitability you can just go for the scheme for that right so these are the aict scheme even they are also giving the scheme to the student they are also giving the student uh, institutional funding and even they are giving for the other part also besides that there is also one good funding agency that is the science and engineering research board so this is the area where you can just get the grant for the basic science also and even for the applied science and this is the associated with the dst department of science and technology so in this we are having the different areas for example in the chemical science they are just giving the main funding in the organic chemistry inorganic physical chemistry and other and as i told earlier that in that already it is written that what kind of the program advisor and coordinators are there over the program officers over there so at least you can just have the proposal built up in a executive form and if it is needed even you can just mail them and you can also have the feedback of your initial component they are also having the earth and atmosphere science so the proposals are invited in the atmospheric science earth science and even glacial biology engineering science you can have the all the areas of the engineering electrical electronics computer mechanical civil material mining chemical environment and everything together so like that in this you can get the lot of opportunity in the life science also there are the proposal in the biomedical and health science mathematical science physical science and even in the exponential technology the funding are given so this is the biggest resource currently available in which even the classical or the academic research in the engineering field is allowed besides this core research grant regularly there are also giving a different kind of the grant so on the website that grant details for the each one is given in this those who are just starting their early career you can get the start of research grant so during your first 3 years of your job only you can get the start of research grant then you can also have the international travel support 
and even that would be the country specific program also that you can just have the indo us program or the indo australian program so in that case you should have the one researcher from the australia or us and according to that only you can just develop the proposals so that way regularly you have to visit the website of the scrb and you can get the details for it as similarly in the state level we had the gujarat state biotech mission similarly at the national level we are having the department of biotechnology the department of biotechnology it is also having the four major area in which it is giving the funding one is the medical biotechnology in the medical biotechnology they are giving the funding in the vaccine research and development public health nutrition stem cell biomedical engineering infection biology chronic and so many others so mainly the biomedical engineering is the area where the devices diagnostic and implant research and other things are allowed so this is the area where you can as a have the role as an engineer even the material science engineer can have the development of the proposal in this area the second area which is the agriculture animal and allied sciences so that would include the agriculture biotechnology animal biotechnology aquaculture and fishery biotechnology so in that also the lot of field applications are involved and in the field application also you can just have the development of the proposal as per your requirement the next is the knowledge generation and discovery research new tools and other so basically earlier it was thought that the science of the biology is more or less work in the lab but now the conditions are getting changed we people are working mainly in the bioinformatics so we are also using the lot of artificial intelligence and big data analysis and other so there is a new area of the theoretical and computational biology and in this area we require the lot of computer engineers along with this lot of mathematical people along with this and a lot of data science people are also required so same way you can have the collaboration with some of the biologists those who are working in this area and you can just develop the specific proposal for that and genome engineering technologies and application and nanobiotechnology so this nanobiotechnology is also an interdisciplinary science the drug delivery material and lot of other nano sensors and other things are developed with the help of the biotechnology and there also the role of the engineers are quite good so that way this nanobiotechnology is the area where also you can work then energy environment and bioresource based applications so normally forest biotechnology is there bioresource and secondary agriculture is there environmental biotechnology energy bioscience biofuel national bio resource development programs and other so mainly now people are also concerned about the energy and lot of biofuels are produced and again to check the efficiency of the biofuels we require the help of the engineer and at the same time some of the biofuels are like that that is not working on it also whatever the environmental problems are there how it can be tackled and how at the large scale you can just control the air pollution water pollution or you can just go for the solid mining and other so for that purpose also the environmental biotechnology is quite important in gujarat also we are having the gmdc government uh, sorry gujarat mineral developmental corporation and one of our microbiologists dr sm dave throughout entire life he has worked with the gmdc and he got lot of funding from the funding agency of the mineral development corporation and he has worked with the different kind of the engineer so even in the mining engineer also the role of the biologist and even the mining engineers are also there so that way you have to find out your own area which is less explored and you can just go for the better opportunity in that part also now similar to that dbt is also having the collaboration with the dbt welcome trust and from that also the different kind of the fellowships and different kind of the intermediate early career and senior fellowships are coming but mainly that is there in the biomedical research so depending upon the call of the proposal you to develop your proposal at their own then internationally we are also having the twas so this twas is the third world academy and they are also having the regular call they are giving the funding for both they are also giving the funding for the basic research and they are also giving the funding for the applied research also so their areas are not fixed as you have discussed for the earlier but every year depending upon the need that is getting changed even in india also we are having the twas center the main center of the twas is there in the italy three c so you can just get the more detail from this website for that 
Then even in, from the Germany, you can have the lot of grant opportunity. So that is that fellowship. So that is also giving the lot of short term grant and even other kind of the grants. Then even Indo-US Foundation is there. From the Indo-US Foundation, you can also get the different level of the grant. The grant is available even from doing the PhD or for the short term visit to the full fledged research funding. Same way, we are also having the Fulbright Fellowship and other. So a lot of people are getting grant in this also. So that is the area also where you can just go for the exploration. Besides that, even in international level, you can just get the poll from so many parts. The best thing is that you should have your own Twitter account. And on Twitter, you should follow all such kind of the funding agency. Even you have to follow the Facebook page of such kind of the funding agency. So whatever the funding agency news are there, that would be coming in your mobile regularly. And you can get the details from that. Now, uh, we'll be also taking some of the other in rational and non rational kind of the funding resources. So whatever the resources we have seen, that is entirely working for giving the grants. But now government is also investing in the research. So there are a few example of the different ministries. So these ministries are also giving the specific grant. So we'll be just taking a few example of that. So we are having the Ministry of the Earth Science. So you can see that Ministry of the Earth Science, they are also giving the funding in the atmospheric science, basic monsoon research, monsoon variability prediction, short range forecasting. So like that only they're also having their own priority and depending upon their own priority, if you have developed the project, then you can also go for the funding from that. So that is also having the hydrology, ocean science, seismology, because right now also we are having a lot of problem with the earthquake and other. So you can also get the lot of opportunity from that. The government is also investing a lot of things for the GPS based technology. Even in the agriculture sector also, the GPS technology is also getting developed. The coastal zone management and other part is there. So in this area, if you are regularly visiting, then you can just find out that what are the main interests of the government. And according to that only, you have to just start working for three, four months try to develop at least one or two review articles in that area. And after that, suppose you are building the proposal, then your proposal will become more strong. So similar to that uh, Department of Science and Technology, so that already we have seen some of the area of the ACRB. But besides this ACRB, they are also giving the so many kind of the institutional fellowship and even they are giving the different kind of the PDF fellowship and other. So they're also giving the technology development grant because now government is also interested in technology transfer. So for that also the huge fund is available, but you have to develop the technology that can be transferred to the industry. So in that area, you can get the grant. You can also get the international uh, science and technology support. You can also get the support for the socioeconomic development. And even in that also, as we have seen earlier, so many international organizations are also joined with this. So with that also, you can also go for the international part. Same way, there will be also technology mission division, uh, clean energy is there, water technology is there, and even nano science and national super competing mission is there. So in this area also, you can also get the grant. So currently, even government is giving the more emphasis on the super competing mission. Even from the Gujarat State Biotech Mission, they're also giving the super competing facility. And uh, uh, so many engineering colleges are already having the super competitor. In our department also, we are also having the super competing facility. So so those who have not applied for that, you can also visit the Kush Coast. And at least I think annually they're just giving few of the supercomputers. So you can just apply for that. So they're providing the CDEC power from Saba computer along with the software. Basically, uh, freeways are given to you and deep learning modules are also there. So you can use this supercomputer for your basic research facility. So that is not given as a project, but that is given as a facility. Besides that, even you can get the lot of women fellowship program. So this women fellowship program is also available from that. Now, similarly, we have seen the other ministry. So this is the Ministry of the Electronics and other. So in this also, you can see that they're also having a lot of subdivision for giving the funding. So R&D in the electronics. So the electronic system development, R&D in the medical electronics, health information division, microelectric, nanotechnology, like that, so many funding options are available from the electronics area. Same way for the information technology also, high performance computing they're giving, IT in the imaging area, and even on the information technology research academy, division is also developed. So that also you can get the other part. So these are the schemes and policy for that. And even you can just get the specific grant for the convergence of the communication and 
broadband technology so now government is also investing in the network technology so for that also you can get the different kind of grants these are the areas of the emerging technology so whatever the emerging technology is there in that also you can get the grant so high performance computing as you have seen that it is coming normally in all the different of the part so it is good that if in the initial stage at least you can just have the facility of one supercomputer in your engineering college then that will support you lot of other kind of the projects these are the example of the funding project which is coming from that so you can see that even they are also giving the funding project for the bioinformatics nanotechnology so like that you can just get the list of the project and you can develop proposal according to that these are the first area specifically in the cyber security because as we all know that now in the digitization the cyber security is also getting the much importance so the cryptography and crypto analysis network and system analysis security architecture even computer forensic and so many other kind of the cyber crime is also getting developed so for that also the specific kind of the projects are in invited even for the content and traffic analysis computer forensic that i also told even in gujarat we are having the forensic university so you can have the collaboration with them and also you can develop some kind of the forensic project also for your research even they are also giving the support for the ipr and even they are giving the support for the center of excellence similar to that we are also having the department of defense so drdo they are giving the basically uh, research support in the four areas so they are giving the aeronautical kind of the research they are also supporting the research in which you can just get the funding of the aeronautical research then ammunition so whatever the ammunition is there in that ammunition research also are getting the grant they are also giving the grant in the life science research and even they are giving for the naval so in that also you can see that some of the area there where the basic role of the engineering science and even the computer science marine science and hydrology will come so you can also develop the proposal along with the drdo and you can also work for the nation with this besides that even the funding agency regularly for the agriculture university icr is there so directly you cannot apply over here but if you are having any kind of the good collaborator with from agriculture university you can develop the specific proposal for the icr also same way icmr is there where you can just have the proposal for the medical science so for that also the grant is available so that is also giving the some kind of the multidisciplinary funding sources we are also having the ministry of the earth science the ministry of the earth science also giving the specific grant specifically for the carbon cycle research climate change and other so that are the area where you can get similar to that we are also having the ministry of environment forest and climate change so there also you can get the grant now recently even the government has developed the food processing department and this food processing department they have also given the grant and mainly this grant is for the developing the agro processing kind of the research project or developing the kit for the detection of the adulteration in the food and other and even they are supporting the state level kind of the funding a state level kind of the laboratory where the food testing can be done so that is the area in which also you can get the grant same way you can also have the ministry of the earth and specific research schemes are there where you can just sorry ministry of the transport where even the gi base and other kind of the information system they are trying to develop so there also you can have the few opportunities for the research besides that even there are some kind of the research newsletters are coming so this is the one newsletter which is coming from the ncbs so every month you can just get the entire detail for the different kind of the funding available so at least you can subscribe to that so this is freely available so that will give you the different kind of the possibilities of the research in this area so that way you can get the more information so that was about for the different kind of the funding agency besides that even i'll be just uh, sharing with you two other kind of the booklet in the booklet so many other kind of the resources are also given but if you are discussing only such kind of the resources then it will become quite boring to complete the entire thing because we all are the learned person so depending upon the guideline you can develop the research proposal but now we'll just spare few time on development of the case study that how to build a good research proposal so we'll just have the two example so first thing you'll see that i'll just give you the one case study and i need one volunteer they'll just tell that what kind of the proposal they will build right 
so who is ready for that at least just uh, tell your name so i can just have the interaction with you someone who is ready to become a volunteer at least just to have the case study that how we can have the discussion please hello am i audible ah uh, hi yes sir ah uh, can we I have one volunteer i want to make it somewhat interactive otherwise simply giving the information like this it is not solving any purpose na so anybody is ready i'll just i will just give yes, you one sir. example and you have to tell that depending upon what point you will develop the proposal and then we'll rectify your concept who is ready please come forward that is a simple yes any participant, any participant please come forward yes any participant if you punam madam then uh, seven people are saswati das ma'am yes sir sir i can try but i am not sure okay no no problem the trying is the best important thing okay what is your name madam hello hello sir i will try uh, okay what is your name madam what is your name mrunalini rana sir i will try uh, okay and what is your background in which area you are basically working you are subject specialist i think sir there are two candidates so okay, but in which area you are working your specialization is what uh i am basically a civil engineer i did my specialization in water resource management okay fine fine so i'll just give you the example for that only right that okay, uh, we are not taking uh, we are taking the two parts so currently we are not taking the thorough scientific thing we'll just see that how you can just develop the proposal right so for example you are a civil engineer right uh, you are okay. civil engineer of a city you are not talking about the research but suppose you are just uh, coming from a very small uh, village for example earlier i was there in the patan north gujarat region right so patan is a small town and in which there is no swimming pool and as a civil engineer you want to develop the swimming pool in the city so you are going to collect for that that i want to build up the swimming pool in the city then how you will present just tell me uh Uh, sir first of all uh, i would be approaching uh, am i audible sir huh. uh, yes yes uh, yeah okay. i'll be approaching the local municipal uh, body to yeah. know what is the uh, like you know uh, uh, type of rainfall and uh, what is the availability of ground water and what is what is the lifestyle that is how i can you know understand the background of pattern and then uh, like uh, 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 checking the feasibility that which place would be best suitable for creating such recreation that would be the first step sir okay fine then any other thing? and uh, yes sir and uh, like uh, are people uh, really interested i would like to you know uh, have a survey of that also that uh, is there any uh, another uh, such kind of recreation like swimming pool is there any club like wherein uh, uh, such things are happening and uh, are people interested or not to uh, if such kind of uh, you know setup is set in a uh, city or uh, uh, town like pattern then we should know that are people really interested to use it so that would be also a matter of concern because uh, it is uh, a huge infrastructure wherein much uh, um, uh, you know uh, economy is uh, incurred okay. okay fine we are having one more who is the other volunteer 